Well, a political party has never been quite so sexy. Australia's adult industry is launching the Australian Sex Party today. It hopes to win seats in the state upper houses and the Senate using the slogan, we're serious about sex. So is there a place for sex in politics? Fiona Patton is the party spokeswoman and she joins us now from Sexpo in Melbourne where the party will be officially launched later on. Good morning to you, Fiona. Good morning. OK, tell us why the sex industry thinks it needs its own party. Look, I guess for the last 20 years we've been, um, we've been lobbying state and federal governments on, on sex and censorship issues. And I think really the, the, the internet filter proposal was the last straw. We just seem to be seeing this slow creep of, of conservatism and greater censorship and greater infringement on people's rights. We just thought, look, we, we now need to get into the, par into the parliament to see if we can make a change from inside. All right, we like to think that people in Canberra every now and again have sex, but what's been the official reaction, if any? Um, there's there's a, not been much reaction at all. But, I, you know, I mean, certainly, look, I think, you know, politicians are just like all of us, but I have never heard a politician say anything positive about sex, ever. You know, they always put a negative spin on it, and I, it seems that they're somewhat a little bit afraid of, of talking about the issue. But there's, so, you know, it covers su such a wide range of our lives. OK, so you've already spoken about censorship. Uh, what other issues will you campaign about? Well, look, we'll certainly be looking for equal rights for everyone, regardless of, regardless of your sexuality. We'd like to see a national curriculum for sex education, um, starting when kids go to school and finishing the day they leave school. Um, we'd certainly like to see, sort of, we're in favour of maternity leave, but we, we come from small business, so we need to find something that works with small business. Um, overseas aid, we've got some real issues with some of the restrictions on the overseas aid that Australia's, Australia provides. There's actually a whole raft of, of policies, and they're actually up on our website as of midday today. All right. Um, Fiona, are you worried at all that you won't be taken seriously? There is that chance. Look, it's been, it's been phenomenal, the response that we've had, um, from, from particularly on the internet. I mean, I, you know, and even on the, sort of some of the news polls that have been done, we're sitting at 73% of the population says they'll vote for us. Um, I think these are serious issues, and I think people are concerned about this sort of increasing nanny state that's happening, and that governments just go, we don't know how to deal with this, ban it. Um, so I, I think we are being taken reasonably seriously. There will certainly be people who will take a joke about it. And I think this is one of the problems. I mean, too often politicians just do nothing but giggle about sex when I think it can be a very serious issue for a lot of people. All right, Fiona, thank you very much. The Australian Sex Party thank being you. launched today. Putting the poll back into politics. We appreciate your time this morning. <laughs> thank you. All right. Well,